We are here at the 2012 University of Idaho Engineering Expo, and this morning we are lucky enough to talk to the entire Infinity Planting team. So we'll just have them introduce their project and tell us a little bit about yourselves. All right. Uh, well, to start off, um, my name is Zach Wethrich, and uh, this is Kendra Hildreth and Doug Kippis and Kara Kleppen. And uh, we're all engineering students working on this project. Um, our project is kind of a proof of concept within the precision agriculture industry. So our client provided us with uh, the plans for this transmission here. It's, uh, it's an infinitely variable transmission of his creation. And uh, the, the idea is that you would bolt it up to a planter like this and be able to supply a constant input to the planter. You know, you drag this behind a, behind a tractor, you'd have rows of them. That's how you plant corn or uh, uh, soybeans, stuff like that. And so uh, you drag at a constant input and you're able to adjust the transmission and alter the seed spacing on the fly um, because you know, that's how this assembly works. The ground wheel drives uh, the transmission which drives this, this wheel up here that singulates the seed, uh, it picks up a seed from a bath of seeds and then drops them one at a time into the ground. And uh, where this transmission comes into play is that you can now adjust all of this on the fly per node with a computer uh, instead of manually changing out sprockets to adjust the seed spacing you know, and just hitting one field all in one big shot. Um, you can adjust per row, per area of the field, and uh, it's all working towards optimizing crop yield, optimizing output, and saving money and reducing agriculture's impact on the environment. Thank you. So this project really clearly has some solid real-world applications. So has working on this project and your capstone experience, um, how has that translated into your career opportunities and your education as a whole? Well, we spent the last four years learning about the math behind engineering and um, you know all the technical aspects of it. But doing this project, we've really learned how to work with our hands and how to understand the industry. Um, you know, we learned how to design things so that they can actually be made and um, so that they actually work. It's been really great and an eye-opening experience just to learn how you actually do things in the world. So in working on this project, there are four of you. Are you all from the same major? And what have been the biggest challenges in this project and in working with this team? So my name is Doug Kippis, and I served as the project leader over the past two semesters on this team. My major is ag engineering, and so coming from the ag, ag side, I had a really good idea of what we wanted to do conceptually and the idea of precision agriculture, but it was a really great experience because I got to collaborate with uh, mechanical engineers and get a really good idea of, you know, I learned my way around the machine shop. I learned how to design parts that could actually be made, and it really helped me out for interviews as well and finding finding work. You know, when I would tell an employer that, you know, I'm the team leader and, you know, this is the stuff that we're doing and these are the challenges that we're facing and this is what we're learning, it was it was always a selling point. So it was a really great experience. It was the capstone of engineering for me. Projects like this and the interaction with other students and people outside of the university really seem to make the undergraduate education at U of I valuable and unique. What would your advice be to somebody who is considering an engineering career, considering coming to the University of Idaho? Yeah, this has definitely been a really beneficial and a unique experience. And if for a new student that's coming to the University of Idaho, just um, definitely engineering to see if you're passionate about it, about it. Come to Expo, learn about the things that, that what you could be doing in four years or six years, just to see what others are doing so you know what you're getting into and all the benefits there are and the heart, like what's hard. Ask other students, you know, what the, their favorite part of engineering is and maybe their least favorite part, just to get an idea. All right, so one more time, I'd just like to have everybody introduce themselves and what's your major and what has been your favorite part of this capstone experience? 
I'm Kara Kleppen and I'm in bio and ag engineering. And my favorite part of this experience has been working with these three people for the entire year. Hey, my name is Doug Kippis, uh, ag engineering. So a member of the biological and agricultural engineering department at U of I. And I think well, there's a lot of great parts of this project for me, but um, one of my favorite parts was actually uh, designing and actually making parts. I think there's just a lot of value to that. And I, I enjoyed the teamwork as well. I'm Kendra Hildreth. I'm a mechanical engineer. And I would say that my best, my favorite part has been learning about everyone else's ideas and being able to use them to make my ideas better. Um, just understanding what teamwork's really about. Uh, I'm Zach Wethrich. I'm a mechanical engineering student. And uh, this project has, has prepared me really well for stepping out into the real world. I've learned a lot about uh, designing things so that they can actually be fabricated in cost-effective ways and uh, uh, collaborating with other people and you know the interactions with our client, with our team members and just all the people that are interested in this stuff. Uh, the communication skills that I've developed just over the last eight months courtesy of this project are tremendous and they'll help me throughout the rest of my life. All right, well, thanks again for taking the time to not only talk about your project, but to show us your project. And we will continue on to the amazing assortment we have here at Engineering Expo today.